Good day students, welcome to mathcodeserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to find the slope of a tangent line. Um, this is an introductory piece in, your, in the art of finding um, derivatives. Um, do not forget to visit our website at mathcodeserve.com for a wide variety of great math tutorials ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. All right, let's take a look at question number one. Uh, so for problem one, we are to find the slope of the tangent line at the specified point using the limit definition of a derivative, and then we are to verify our answer using the differentiation rules, okay? So the first question we want to ask, answer, or ask is, what is the slope of the tangent line? The slope of the tangent line basically involves the steepness of the line that's tangent to this curve at this point. What is the rise over run of that of that line? Now you have only one point. In algebra, you learned that you can find the slope of a line using two points. But the beauty of calculus and limits is that you can find the slope of a line using just one point. That's where derivative comes in, instantaneous rate of change. Okay? So what this problem is asking us to find is we are to find um, the we are to find f prime of one. F prime of one means the slope of the tangent line at x equals one. The derivative is the slope of a tangent line anywhere, and when you set it to one, it tells you the slope of the tangent line at x equals one. All right. So there are two steps to finding the derivative at a point. So let's write them down. Steps. The first step is you want to find the derivative. Okay, you want to find f prime of x. f prime of x tells you is a function that can help you calculate the slope of the tangent line at any point on the curve. Okay, or line, or whatever the function is. After you find that function, that helps you calculate the, sl the slope of the tangent line, you're going to find f prime of one. You're gonna fix your slope to a specific x value by inputting that x value, namely one in this case, and the answer you get will be the slope of your tangent line at that specific x value, all right? So there are two steps to this. All right, so let's start with step one. Step one, we wanna find f prime of x. There are two ways of doing this. You can do this using the rules or you can use the limits definition of derivatives. That's what we're going to be doing here. Okay, we're going to be using the limit definition of derivatives. So we know that f prime of x using the limit definition of derivatives is a limit as h approaches zero. Some textbooks use delta x, they mean the same thing, of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h, okay? This is a formula for calculating the slope of a line given one point and the function, okay? All right, so uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna break down this process so we do not get confused with the computation here. So first thing we need <clears throat> is the function f of x. So f of x is 2x squared plus 2x, okay? Now, next thing we have to find is f of x plus h. Let me color code it for you so you can clearly see what's going on. f of x plus h. Now, what on earth is f of x plus h? We think back to pre-calculus. This is a function you get when you compose the function with x plus h, okay? So, um, if this is f of x, f of x plus h means that all the x's will be replaced with x plus h, all right? So, we're composing this function with x plus h. So, we're going to have 2, instead of x, we just put parentheses there, square, plus 2, instead of x, with another parenthesis. Now, what goes into the parenthesis? Your new input, what we're composing the function with, with is which is x plus h. x plus h here and x plus h here also. Now let's expand this to figure out what um, f of x plus h is. So if you expand this right here, you have x squared, and then in the center, you have x plus h plus x, I mean x times h plus x times h, which is 2xh plus h squared. 
And then if you distribute this 2 to x plus h, you have plus 2x plus 2h. Okay, now let's distribute this 2 outside to um, this quantity that just we just expanded. That yields 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus 2x plus 2h. Okay, so this is f of x plus h. Now, uh, what are we going to do? Let's go ahead and plug in these two into this formula right here. So, <clears throat> notice how I'm doing it step by step so I keep my work organized and we don't get confused. f of x minus f of x plus h minus f of x over h is going to be f of x plus h, 2x squared plus 4xh plus 2h squared plus 2x plus 2h minus f of x. So if I distribute this minus to these two terms, I'll have negative 2x squared minus 2x. So please do not forget when I use subtracting f of x, ensure that you distribute this minus to the entire f of x function, okay? So all the terms in the f of x function. This theory will be divided by h. All right, let's see what happens in the numerator. Some cancellation action should happen. That cancels with that. And then 2x cancels with 2x. If you carry out this step accurately, you should always end up with um, a term in the numerator that um, is a factor of h. You should be able to factor out h from whatever you're left with. If you cannot, then there is an error in your computation. All right, so you can clearly see that we can factor out an h. Let's go ahead and write down what that is. So that's going to be, um, before I factor it out, let me just write down what I have. 4xh plus 2h squared uh, plus 2h over h. Again, if we can factor out h from the numerator, we have 4x plus 2h plus 2 over h. This h is cancel out. Now we're going to take the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h. Okay? So um, this entire expression right here, f of x plus h minus f of x over h, is simply um, now 4x plus 2h. And then when we evaluate this limit as h approaches 0, okay, plus 2, sorry, forget about that, um, plus 2. And we're going to find the limit of the function as x as h approaches 0. So that's going to be 4x plus 2 times 0 plus 2. And the answer is 4x plus 2. All right, so this is the slope of the tangent line at any point, all right? So f prime of x is equal to 4x plus 2. Now, this is step one. Step two, remember we talked about the plan. We now want to find the derivative when x is 1. How do we do that? f prime of 1 is simply 4 times 1 plus 2. Okay, 4 times 1 plus 2 is 6. What is the significance of this answer? The slope of the tangent line, the slope of the tangent line to f of x equals, um, what was the original problem? 2x squared plus 2x at x equals 1 is 6. So you have a line with a slope 6 being a tangent line to this function at x equals 1. Okay? All right, so now we're going to use another method, method 2, which is differentiation rules. Okay, method 2, differentiation rules. We don't have to use the limit definition here. Differentiation rules. All right, so our the same step that we're going to follow. We have f of x equals 2x squared plus 2x. Now, um, 
Step number one is we want to find f prime of x, okay? So find f prime of x. Instead of using the limit definition, we're going to use the um, power rule here, okay? Remember that um, x to the n prime, the derivative of x to the n is what you get when you power down the power, n, x to the n, and then you reduce the previous power by one, okay? That's what we're going to do here. So f prime of x to the n, we know that uh, f prime of x is going to be 2x squared plus 2x prime, the derivative of this. If we apply the power rule to the differentiation of 2x squared, factor out the 2. The derivative of x squared, you power down the power, 2x, and then you reduce it by 1, 2 minus 1. Plus, same story here, 2, factor out the 2. This is x to the 1, power down the 1. And then one, the, the reduce the power by one. Okay. And then you have two times two is four x plus. Uh, here we have um, two, and then x to the zero is just one. So you see that f prime of x is four x plus two. Let's go back up. That's exactly what we have right here. Okay. So we are confident that f prime of x is in fact correct. So we, are, we know that our answer is accurate also. All right, but we also know that the second piece is also going to be the same. Let's just write it down so that we do not leave anything um, unaddressed. So we have f prime of one is just going to be four times one plus two, which is six. And that's what we got before, okay? Now let me go ahead and show you how you can do this with a calculator, namely the TI-89 titanium. How do you find um, the slope of the tangent line um, using a TI-89 titanium calculator? Or how do you find the derivative at any specified point? Okay, so what you do is you go to the calc menu, F3, and then you select differentiate. Okay, so go to the calc menu, and then you select differentiate. Um, you enter the function first. 2x squared plus 2x. And then your variable for differentiation is x, and then you close it. Now, what this does is it helps you calculate the derivative um, at any point. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Press enter. 4x plus 2, we can check our work. You see that we, we got it right? Okay, 4x plus 2. This is the equation for the, the slope of a tangent line at any point. Now, what if we want to fix it at x equals 1? How do we find the derivative of any function at a specified x value? So you, what you do is you just put down this bar, and then you specify the value of x you want to assign x to. Okay, so x equals 1. All right, so you enter the derivative of the function, comma, x, close that, and you have the bar, and then x equals whatever value you want. In this case, x is equal to 1. So this is f prime of 1. Enter, your answer is 6. All right, so we are in fact confident that our answer is correct. So thanks so much for taking the time to uh, subscribe to what, for watching this video. We really appreciate it. You can feel free to subscribe for updates to other great tutorials such as this. And do post a comment in our comment section to let us know what you think about this clip and any questions that you have. More clips can be found on mapgoodserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.